Hello everyone. In this video, we will be going through types of control systems. So let's start with different types of control system and again a few a brief regarding transfer function. So uh, now the definition of system and control system. So what is system exactly? System, a collection or arrangement of physical components for desired purpose is called as a system. And what is control system? So control system, the control system is that means by which any quantity of interest in a machine, mechanism or other equipment is maintained or altered in accordance with the desired output. So that is nothing but a control system. Now types of control systems. According to their construction, we can go for different types like open loop control system and closed loop control system. Again, according to their control operation, again we can go for two types, manual control system and automatic control system. Now the first type open loop control system any physical system which does not automatically correct for variation in its output is called as a open loop control system in this type of system no any feedback element is connected so we can see in the diagram there is an open loop control system it's shown so we are having a controlled process uh, to which a controller is giving an input which is coming from uh, the system uh, which is coming from any uh, change in the system and that change uh, that input is fed to the controller and controller will give that input to the controlled process and the process will give us an output so this is open loop system okay so next examples of open loop control system automatic washing machine is an example of open loop control system how in automatic washing machine we give dirty clothes as input and output is a clean clothes in automatic washing machine timer is set in a fixed time it completes its washing process it does not detect clothes are clean in set time or not so automatic washing machine is open loop control system because it not it does not uh, give an idea regarding uh, in given time the operation is over or not or rather uh, desired output is uh, achieved or not so that is called as an open loop control system another example electric hand dryer so hot air that is output comes out when you keep your hand under the machine when you keep your hand under the machine it starts for a fixed time if you take out your hand uh, un from under the machine early machine does not stop immediately okay so it will run for the fixed time period so that is again open loop control system okay so output is not controlled according to change in input that is open loop control system advantages they are simple in construction and design they are economic easy to maintain and not much problem of stability these are advantages of the system disadvantages of open loop control system are uh, inaccurate and unreliable because accuracy is dependent on the accuracy of the calibration inaccurate results are obtained with the parameter variation or internal disturbance also to maintain the quality and accuracy recalibration of the system is necessary from time to time these are advantages of open loop control system now let's go for closed loop control system any physical system which does not add uh, sorry uh, any physical system which does automatically correct for variation in its output is called as a closed loop control system okay closed loop control system has a feedback element so here what is the main difference in open loop system and closed loop system is uh, open loop system does not uh, contain any feedback loop so it has uh, the output has no any uh, control over the input in closed loop system 
there is a feedback loop is uh, or feedback element is connected in the system which continuously gives the difference between the desired output and the actual output and accordingly change in input is possible so you can see here a uh, feedback loop is present which is again given as an input reference to the reference signal and error signal is generated that error signal is amplified and fed to controller then from controller to process and again some output is achieved which is a controlled output so this is closed loop control system examples of closed loop system are example of automatic control system is temperature control using a room heater then missile tracking system in this mechanism radar continuously detects unknown flying object and then send the signal to the control station now advantages of closed loop control system first advantage obviously is accuracy is very high as any error arising is corrected then it senses changes in output due to environment or parametric changes internal disturbances etc and again correct the same a reduced effect of non linearities so these are advantages now disadvantages of closed loop system uh, it is complicated in design obviously and again maintenance is costly then system may become unstable and high bandwidth these are few disadvantages of closed loop control system so this was regarding open loop and closed loop systems then let's have a brief regarding the transfer function transfer function is the ratio of laplace transform of the output to the laplace transform of the input consider all initial conditions to zero now here system is shown u of t is an input to a plant and y of t is its output so if laplace of u of t is u of s and uh, laplace of uh, y of t is equal to y of s where l is the laplace operator okay so why laplace transform is used because using laplace transform we can convert many common functions into algebraic functions of a complex variable s for example laplace of sin omega t is omega divided by s square plus omega square or laplace of e power at is uh, equal to 1 upon s plus a where s is a complex variable or complex frequency and is given as s is equal to sigma plus j omega so transfer function can be used to check the stability of the system time domain and frequency domain characteristic of the system response of the system at any given input so these are the functions of a transfer function thank you